Hello, Brian Myers from Winning Solutions, Inc. and the Microsoft Access Experts. I have a tutorial for you today on how to split a database. What I have here on my desktop is a Microsoft Access database, and I'm going to double click to open it up. And you'll see that we have a couple of tables here, we have a couple of forms, and we have a couple of reports. And what we want to do is separate the data, which is in the tables here, from the front end forms and front end reports. That will allow us to have multiple people connect to the database and we can do updates to the front end without actually having to change the data if we don't have to change database tables. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to database tools. We're going to go to this little icon here which is the access database split button. We're going to go ahead and click that. I'm going to split the database and I'm going to save that to my desktop and they have it listed as back end BE I'm going to call it data and go ahead and split and the database was split correctly now you'll see that the, you get these little arrows next to each of the tables that's because it is now a linked table um, the data is not actually in this file it's in a separate file we'll go ahead and look at that so now we have this data version here, and if we double click on that, all it has in here is the tables. So the data is all stored separately from the front end. It's very useful when you have multiple users and you don't want to have problems with data syncing. And if we go back in to the database front end here, you can see that if we double click on one of these, we can still see the data but that's actually in that other file. It's linked to the outside data source. And we can come in and use our forms and you can see we've got data in here. And that concludes how to split a Microsoft Access database. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. You can hit us up on Facebook or Twitter and have a great day. Thank you.